Good morning and God bless you, St. Mark's. I am coming to you this Thursday morning with a couple of announcements. I wanted to remind our community that this Saturday the 20th, we are having Youth Day for those who are three and up. Uh, we want to invite you to come out to Orville Wright Park from 2 to 3.30. There are activities and games and snacks and a time for our young people to get to know each other. So those of you with children and teenagers, young adults, please invite them out. It's a good time for them to get familiar and just make connections. The second thing I wanted to remind us is that there has been an ongoing um, disaster in Kentucky. We know that the flood hit them pretty hard and that a lot of people lost everything. Families are suffering and grieving. And as they prepare to put their lives back together, they need our support. And so we um, at St. Mark's are active. We've been engaged for a long time with our communities and we are a serving church. We wanna continue that service and United Women in Faith, we know they used to be United Methodist Women, we wanna honor that. That name has been shifted so that we include all women in faith. Um, are inviting us to participate in that given through Encore. So on the 28th, which is the last Sunday of the month, we are going to take a special offering. So those of you who are able, please come prepared to offer to um, Encore so that they can continue to send aid and support to those in Kentucky who are still living through uh, the ravages of that disaster so that they can experience uh, the presence of God and our love here on earth. That is our true witness. That is what true worship is about. This past Sunday, we talked about how the nation had the pause because a couple of folks were suffering. And while it wasn't a natural disaster and that was man-made, the conversation was about connectivity, how we are all connected in Christ. And this is an opportunity for us to acknowledge our God. This is an opportunity for us to participate as witnesses and not as observers. And that's what true worship is. This is an opportunity for us to praise. And praise, we understand, is not just music and dance and song. It's that too. But it's also our ability to be a witness, to show up and to talk about the goodness of God and to demonstrate the goodness of God in the life of others. I offer you 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 4 this morning. And this is the message version. It says, all praise to the God and Father of our master, Jesus the Messiah, master of all mercy, God of all healing counsel. He comes alongside us when we go through hard times. And before you know it, he brings us along someone, he brings along someone else who is going through hard times so that we can be there for that person, just as God was there for us. We have plenty of hard times that come from following the Messiah, but no more than the good times of his healing comfort. We get a full measure of that too. So what comes to mind is compassion and connectivity. These are acts of compassion and it is a full witness of who we are. So I wanna invite you to prepare to give on the 28th and continue to hold those families and, and not just Kentucky, but all over the country where there is natural disasters. We know we have ongoing fires here in California, as well as those who are being ravaged by war and the refugees all over the world. I wanna invite us to hold these families in prayer and to be mindful that there's so many who are not on our list. So let's just pray for our community and families and extended others and lift up the names that have been offered on today. We're praying for Millie Lou Lutensock, Jenny Baldoff, Raphael Cruz, Olivia Jones, Mary McCullough, Joseph Mustafa, Doris Olson, Ann Parsons, and we want to offer a special prayer for those families who are grieving. And we've learned about the passing of Papa Pasco Mukoma, Francozi Boulay's family. So let's pray for the Boulay family and hold them in our prayers. We know that even when we lose those who we know love God and who are God's children and who have made their transition to their final resting place, it's still hard. Even when they've aged, we will miss them dearly. So let's hold those families in prayer. We continue to pray for Lois Adamek, Dory Dodson, Paul Blankenship, Dory Dodden Dugan, Charlotte Gardner, Vivian Hitty, or Haida, 
Lucy Jeffries, Bill and Marilyn Malkinsaya, Peggy Smith and Lauren Warren. And please forgive me, people of God, if I've mispronounced your name, it is not intentional. It is certainly not to do harm. As I learn the names, please bear with me. And, and if you are listening, just know that the intention is to be loving and to be inclusive and to make sure that you are being honored. Amen. Special request for Benjamin Perez, the grandmother uh, of Elizabeth Cruz's best friend who recently suffered a heart attack, and Corinne Garcia for her fiance's employer, who is awaiting approval for his visa petition. Katie Hasbrock, daughter-in-law of Marilyn Hasbrock, who has been diagnosed with cancer. We want to continue to pray for those who are in transition, who are suffering with uh, physical illness and mental illness, who are wrestling with anxiety and other social challenges that prevent you from going through life and functioning well. We want to encourage you to stay before God and take good care of yourself, see your doctors, socialize and fellowship. Remember to laugh, people of God. The Bible tells us that a merry heart do it good like a medicine. So find something in your life and in the world that brings you joy. And I promise you, if you are not serving, serving and helping others will give you some light and give you energy. And if you're home and you cannot connect with someone, there's a lot happening online. And if you need somebody to come in and help you to get connected, call the church office and we will come and help you get connected. We want to continue to hurt, uh, lift up the people of Ukraine and Eastern Europe. And like I said, all over the world where we know people are suffering and experiencing war and the threat of war. God be with all of us and keep us. And let's continue to be an example and, and activate that true worship in our lives, evident by how we show up and live. So let us practice connectivity. Let us walk in mercy and grace. And let us remember to show compassion. And that's what we're doing in, in our extension to Kentucky as we take up the special offering. May God rest on you and be with you. God bless you, St. Mark's family and community.